Hello friends and welcome back to 20 Questions With. For those of you who are new here, this is my fun way of introducing you to other costumers and costumers by asking them 20 silly questions. Today we are talking to Yul. Yul, tell me how to say your last name. Uh, okay, so my name is Yul Dyson. Dyson, okay. Dyson, yeah. Dyson. Okay. Dyson. <laughs> Well, welcome to my channel. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and your channel and all, all of that kind of stuff? Okay, yeah. So my name is Yul Dyson <laughs> <laughs> and um, I have a channel with my name and I do loads of sewing videos uh, with no speaking, just images and sounds and pretty things. And um, well, I film everything here in my living room full of, full of creepy dolls. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, um, Yule is deaf, so she is using a device right now that's helping her hear me. Uh, and so that's another reason that her channel is really ASMR goals, because they're all like beautiful, cinematic, aesthetic, silent movies. And they are absolutely beautiful. And you can hear scissors gently going. You can hear the rain. Sometimes her cat is purring. Like, it's lovely. I love your channel. Do you, do you actually hear my cat purring? I have, yeah. <gasps> I never knew. That's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, the first time I saw your channel, I was like the dog from Up. And I was like, I have never met you. And already I love you. Uh -huh. I think that's like possibly the first thing I actually said to you also. <laughs> we became fast friends. We are both friends with also Nikki, uh, Liam. Yes. So if anybody knew who's, who that is, she will be on this channel probably eventually soon. Alrighty, are you ready for 20 questions? Yes, let's go. Okay. What is something that we would not expect about you? Something we would not expect about me. I think the first thing that you would not expect about me is that I talk because I never do on my channel, but I yeah. do. Yeah. And I, I used to be like fully hearing for the first 30 years of my life. And then I became deaf. So I actually speak and I'm used to being a hearing person. So um, yeah. yeah, that's a bit unexpected for some people. And you speak English and Dutch and anything else? Um, I speak Dutch and English and I understand a lot of languages, but they're hard to speak. So German, uh, French, and a little bit of Spanish. Excellent. That's amazing. Yeah. What is your favorite noodle dish? It should be uh, ramen noodles. Yeah. With a with a hard boiled egg and with uh, creamed corn inside and yeah. Yeah. I love that. That sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most people don't think of Asian noodles. They only think about Italian noodles. Yeah, well, Asian noodles are noodles too. <laughs> they are, and my favorites are Asian noodle dishes too. Thai noodles usually. Right. Yeah. What was something that you thought would be easy until you tried it? Well, I'm the kind of person who only wants to try things when they think they can do it. Uh -huh. So I wait until I'm secure enough to be able to do the thing and then I do it. So um, I'm not sure. Oh, I once tried to play um, a cello uh -huh. and I thought, that shouldn't be hard to just get some sound out of it, but it was really hard. It yeah. was really hard. Yeah. Yeah. String instruments are very difficult as it turns out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. What is the silliest thing that you are pretty good at? The silliest thing I'm pretty good at. You're pretty good at a lot of silly things. <laughs> okay. Tell me what silly things can I do? I don't know. I think a lot of things I do are silly. Yes, you're right. But, ooh, well, no, that's not silly. But I'm really good at lip reading, and I never knew it until I became deaf. Oh. 
That's excellent. So I'm actually so, so very good at lip reading that some people didn't believe I was deaf. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm a natural and I never knew for the first 30 years of my life. So, yeah. So I realized one day that I recognize people, human beings, by their mouth. So when I say someone looks like someone, I really only mean your mouth because I'm always lip reading uh, because I hear better behind me than I do in front of me. So when people are talking to me and other people are behind me, I can't really hear that well. So I read people's lips. So same, same. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Yeah. And this mask thing is not working for me. (laughs) Oh, no. Yeah. I bet that's very difficult for you. <laughs> it is. But then again, I stay indoors a lot. So I don't get to talk yeah. to a whole lot of people. Yeah, that's true. What is the weirdest food you've ever eaten? The weirdest food I've ever eaten. Oh, every Christmas, my uh, family likes to cook um, a veal's tongue. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. What? <laughs> like from a cow with the tongue. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's like in a very creamy mustardy sauce. And it's a creepy thing, but it's really delicious. Okay. That is weird. I'll give you that. <laughs> Lots of cultures eat tongue. And I have, I've eaten it. I ate it in Japan. And I've eaten it uh, me- Mexican lengua. I'm not into it. <laughs> no, it's too well, chewy. I should invite you to uh, to my family's Christmas one day, and then okay, we'll taste it. Delicious. Okay, creamy. I'll try it. Yeah, yeah. What is the best advice you've ever been given? Oh, I used to um, like go to um, dance academy before in my previous life. Yeah, and I used to work really, really hard every day, like this hard. Yeah. And then someone said to me, give 70% and not 100%. That's good enough. And that really helped me. Okay. Yeah. It's good advice. Some, some people need to be told to give 100% because they're not working hard enough. But I yeah. was, I needed to be 70%. Yeah. Yeah. It's better for you sometimes. Mm-hmm. Would you go to space if you knew you could never come back to Earth? No, never. Never. I no, am also Earth never. Is... <laughs> Earth is good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. <laughs> I like being on the surface. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. What is the strangest gift you've ever received? I remember one time one of my best friends gave me a box for my birthday and it said something about wool on the outside. And I thought, Ooh, I'm going to get like woolen fabric or yarn maybe, or maybe wool to spin from. And there were slippers. Wow, made wow. Of so I was super confused. <laughs> I was like, who yarn? And then I got slippers. Hmm. Were they nice slippers? They were. Yeah, I was just very confused about them. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite smell and why? Well, I love the smell of coffee. Mm-hmm. Even before I started liking to drink coffee. Yeah. And I love the smell of Chanel 5 perfume. Oh, yeah. Chanel 5 is good. <laughs> yeah. For sure. What is the nicest compliment you've ever received? Well, I do remember one time I had a student from, um, I was teaching dance classes and ballet classes. And I had this student who was really one of the best I ever had. And after a couple of years, when she like progressed and she came, get, got to, um, to different classes and different teachers, and then I talked to her again, and she just gave me the best compliments about how I was an inspiration to her. Aww. And I was always very cool and very understanding and uh, had the best music and the best advice and the things. And that really, that, that really, yeah, 
amazed yeah. me and I was really proud proud of myself and I was proud of her at that moment yeah yeah being an inspiration to to your students is a wonderful thing it's very fulfilling it is yeah how superstitious are you not at all I'm not, not superstitious. at all okay. no it's why you no. can have creepy dolls behind you exactly <laughs> yeah I don't I find it very hard to believe in anything I can't understand yeah or, or I can't explain so I just I no it doesn't exist it's people's minds it's not real yeah for sure I'm also this way except in the middle of the night I don't like the chick in the mirror in the middle of the night you don't there's a, a there, you know, like in a Japanese horror movie, there's always some like lady in the mirror who's like stretching ah, her jaw out and her hair's down. Like, mm -mm. Mm, okay. I can't look at yeah. the mirror. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. What book or movie do you wish you could experience for the first time again? Well, I'm not a big film watcher, so movies or films or book. Ah, uh, book, book, book. Oh, I know. The first book of His Dark Materials. Oh, yeah. By, yeah. Philip Pullman. Philip Pullman, exactly. Yeah, yeah The Golden Compass. That, that book really amazed me. And I was, yeah. I was so enchanted by it. And I would really like to experience that from the beginning. Yeah. Did you see the new miniseries of that? I did. What did yeah. you think? I think it's very cute. Yeah. And I, I think it. they did a good job of, be, of showing what was in that book. Mm -hmm. It's pretty accurate. Yeah. I'm not, never very critical about movie film adaptations. Yeah. Um, but I can see some are worse than others. But this one, I really liked it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What is the best conspiracy theory that you know? Conspiracy theory. Yeah. I think I get very angered by conspiracy theories, so I try to stay away from them. So yeah. I don't know if I can answer your question because okay. I'm just like, no, I don't want to know about this. It will just make me angry and no. That's a completely valid I'm response. I'm going to have to, yeah. Yeah. Valid. Okay. If you had to delete all but three apps from your phone, which ones would you keep? Which apps would I keep? You get to have I three. Just three. Just three. Um, I would choose WhatsApp uh -huh. because I can't use the telephone. I need to message. Yeah. So that's for sure. And I would like Instagram because... Yeah. I use it all the time. And the third one, I'll, I'll take those two. And the third one I'll give to someone else who needs it. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Yeah. I have an app that controls the lights in my house. So I can't control the lights in my house without the app. <laughs> right. I have light switches. Yeah. I have them too. They don't do anything to the lights. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, then you'll need that app. You can have my third I'll one take that app. for that app. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your favorite magical or mythological animal? I think I like dragons. Yep. Because they're essentially dinosaurs with wings. Yeah. And dinosaurs are super cool. Dinosaurs imagine, are super cool. Imagine if they had wings and could... I mean, like, fire. pterodactyls have wings. So if pterodactyls could breathe fire. Yeah. 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 I choose them. I choose them. Okay, that's fair. If you could instantly become an expert in anything you want, what would it be? An expert? Ooh. I would be, like, an expert um, dress historian. Hmm. Because I am so amazed by all those people who know all the details and who have all the stories and who 
have read all the original source material and I'm like, oh, I want this knowledge. Yeah. So, yeah. Solid. Give me this, give me this knowledge, please. <laughs> okay. Would you rather be the funniest person in the room or the smartest person in the room? The smartest. Okay. Why? I like, bra- I like brains more than being funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would have a hard time answering that question. <laughs> really? Yeah, because I like both. Would you rather be able to talk with animals or speak all foreign languages? Um, I'd like to be able to talk with my cat, so I will refuse the foreign languages just for the sake of talking with Vehi. Yeah. You already can't talk to your cat? I feel like you talk to your cat. <laughs> You put it on the internet. (laughs) Yeah, okay, it's right. But I would really like to be able to talk with him, like, with real human words and not with, wee Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, really, Veiki? That's interesting. I never thought of it that way. And he's like, wee I watch how their tails move, and that tells you a lot about what they're thinking. Yep. Yeah. So that's how I talk to them. But I also can speak to them in full sentences and they do what I tell them to do. And that's weird. Like, Mm, that's magical. Why don't you go in the corner and lay in your bed? Or, hey, there's food in there now. If you want some food, there's chow. He's like, oh, okay. And he goes in the other room. But are they listening to you or are you predicting what they're doing? No, because usually they're asleep and I wake them up to tell them stuff. (laughs) Oh, wow. That really is special. Would you want to live in a world with superheroes? I don't think so, because when I think of superhero stories, at first you're like, wow, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And they have the outfits and they have the, you know. Um, But when you really think about it, it's not fair. And why would they have all this power and they get to decide what to do with it? So no, I don't need the superheroes. Just be decent humans and not have superheroes. Solid answer. What is your favorite section at the grocery store and why? Oh, um, well, the chocolate section, of course. But you guys have great chocolate. Yeah, and I like to just look at all the different colors of the wrappers and see if they have something new and then buy the exact same that I always buy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, Nikki sent me a box of, or a, a bar of Tony's and I'm eating that very slowly. <laughs> what, what flavor did you get? Hazelnut. <laughs> Hazelnut. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. Okay. The super controversial bonus question. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yeah. Well, I thought about it, of course. (laughs) And to me, a hot dog is not a sandwich. But I think if you want it to be a sandwich, it could be a sandwich. I don't really (laughs) care. But to me, it's not a sandwich. Okay. How about you? So I'm actually neutral. You're neutral. Yeah, people think I ask this question because I have an agenda and I don't. I just mostly think it's funny. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Yeah. And has your opinion changed about this controversial topic? No, because I I just, I confront whatever the person's answer is with the opposite thing. And then they think I think that. But I don't right. think that. <laughs> so You're just playing the devil's advocate. <laughs> well, so I looked at I look it up in the dictionary and, and there's dictionaries that say yes and there's dictionaries that say no. So you know. <laughs> I just I'm like, whatever. It's like it I I don't care. <laughs> just you just eat them. Yeah, I like hot dogs. And when I, when I say hot dogs, I don't just mean the dog. I mean like in the bun. You know, in a bun, yeah. An American hot dog. <laughs> so, so what what con- what condiments on the hot dog? So I like pickle relish, pickle spears, celery salt, 
and maybe a little bit of barbecue sauce. Okay. Sounds yeah. delicious. There's this thing called a, a Chicago doll, dog that has all of those, but instead of barbecue sauce, it has, oh, and it has jalapeno peppers, um, but it has mustard and ketchup on it, but I don't like mustard or ketchup. All right. But um, sometimes instead of the barbecue sauce, maybe a little like malt vinegar. I'll, I try it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Mostly I like pickle relish. I just eat it with pickle relish. Like if I'm, or maybe a little onion. They're good. I like them. <laughs> Depending on how, you know, how good they are. Because some, some hot dogs are no good. I don't like boiled hot dogs. I like grilled hot dogs. Grilled hot dogs, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not boiled. I'll keep that in mind. All right. That completes 20 questions. Thank you for joining me today, Jules. And thank you to everyone out there for joining us. I will leave a list of Yule's accounts down below so that you can check her out and go show her some love. If you'd like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and comment down below about what you guys are working on. And I'll see you soon with another video. Bye guys.